The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, tried to guilt the Liberals today into backing his plan for a voice, a kind of Aboriginal-only advisory parliament, suggesting if you weren't for it, you didn't have a heart. And just think of the neighbours. Here he is. I ask them to join me in having an open mind, but importantly, an open heart when it comes to these issues. Because my colleague, the minister, just spoke about uh, what, uh, how Australians would feel who'd supported this change the day after a referendum if, if it's successful. I ask you to think about the counterfactual as well. How Indigenous Australians will feel if it's not successful, how Australians will feel and how Australia is perceived internationally. Internationally. Order. Internationally as well including our economic partners in the region. Now, Sarah Henderson, to his credit, Opposition Leader Peter Dutton immediately responded and said uh, this is not a question of heart. Everyone in Parliament wants to do the right thing by Aboriginal Australians. Everyone. It's an argument about the means. But what did you think of Anthony Albanese framing this as a contest between kind people and heartless ones? Well, Andrew, I happened to be in the House of Representatives on the floor of the chamber waiting for Alan to make his speech. So I heard both the Prime Minister and also the magnificent response from Peter Dutton, who made it clear that we all have a heart. We all care about Indigenous Australians. We all want them to do better. We all care about reconciliation. Um, this is not something that only the Labor Party cares about, and I think Peter made that very, very clear. But he also emphasised, and Anthony Albanese was actually asked about whether um, the referendum would, in fact, adopt the key report uh, that the Labor Party keeps talking about, but, of course, hasn't referenced whether that report will be included or not. And so Peter Dutton made the very important point that there is so much uncertainty about what, we'll, what this all means. And we know that Peter Dutton has asked 15 questions of the Prime Minister. None of those questions have been answered. So I'm concerned, Andrew, that the Prime Minister is trying to pull the wool over the eyes of all Australians and that perhaps he is setting this up to fail because of the incompetent way in which he is running this process, yep. including doing things well, like even... trying to stop the booklet, for instance. Well, even that, uh, you know, that, that's leaving aside the fundamental issue that I think uh, racially dividing Australia into, uh, you know, different races and elevating one with different political rights is just the most astonishing proposal and immoral one that I've ever heard. Uh, thank you so much indeed for your time, Sarah Henderson. I really appreciate it.